Social media has made everybody way more insane. And it's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse because of all this AI shit. It's, it's very strange. It's a very, very strange time to be alive. Did you see the AI? There is an AI, like they have these AI women on uh, Instagram. Yeah. And like we were talking about it on, on the air and we were laughing about it. And even though I know it's AI, I'm like, I could still see myself jerking off to this. Mm -hmm. I know it's not real. I know it's fake. But if the attitude was right, I could still see myself being turned on by this AI. The hair fucks it up a little bit because it kind of looks solid. Like the hair sometimes moves as one unit, but the body and the face, I mean, it really looks like a real person. Well, they're making money. They're making money off of OnlyFans. Like tens of thousands of dollars a week. Isn't that awesome? Amazing. Isn't guys that are, great? Guy, well, there's probably some fucking dude in Moldova or somewhere like that running it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always some guy overseas where you can't, yeah. get it, uh, you can't get it shut down. You can't get any answers. Yeah. And then there's some fucking jerk off in New York City, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the east side, with this fucking tomato stained wife beater on, sending money and and whacking off, and then interacting with these people. See, if you're not tech savvy and you don't understand that this is probably a man on the other end, or yeah. not even a man, maybe a computer that's running an algorithm, and you're you know you think you're actually interacting with a woman, you know you can get completely hooked. I've argued with bots before and like I, i've actually that, that's like my big insult is like you're a fucking bot and that's like all you can say when they're when you know that you've been duped by a computer yeah whether it's customer service and you think you're talking to a real person you're like this is a fucking computer this is a real person but that's a real person <laughs> yeah she made 57 million dollars since covid oh my god fans whoa like, like how would you like if you married that girl how would you tell her to get a regular job i wouldn't you can't i'd be sure. happy she did it yeah breakdown of but if you were like like a a guy who wasn't into that. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, if you're a guy who marries her and you think you're going to rescue her Ugh. and pull her out of there and she's making $57 million, this you have the, to just accept that's her job. Half of it's from the messages part, which that's what you were just sort of saying, like probably not her messaging. Right. $27 million worth of messages. Whoa, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 27 million guys, $27 million in money has been sent by guys? Well, that's... Just yeah, sending yeah. it her directly as a message. I love you. Ten, Ten million in just tips. That's on top of. That's just. Oh thank you for doing what god. you're. I'm already paying you for. How much is her monthly subscription? Uh, we could look at her page. But oh my god, that's incredible. Right what is she? What is she doing on there? Her. Uh, I mean, her main thing is she came over from like Twitch. She's a cosplayer, so she dresses up like all the, uh, you know, characters online. And yeah, that can be sexy. Popular. She's very popular. That can be a little sexy, somebody oh, kind of dressed. They don't go to like, Comic-Con once in a while. There's a lot of big fat fucks, but there's also a couple that are like, I, that's attractive. I like that. I'm sure. A little superhero. Yeah, and then they're kind of weird and quirky, so they're more approachable. Yeah, you know? they seem more approachable. Yeah, yeah. But then you get like, girls like this who are probably just as unapproachable as any other attractive woman I've ever tried to talk to in a club. Maybe, but like really hot nerds are always like the, probably the most attractive thing. Yes, but they, they play nerds like... They have nerdy interests, but there's nothing worse to me than like a comic who's like who pretends he's like the shy guy, but he's really a good looking dude. And it's like you're confident and you know you're good looking, but you're playing like the shy guy who's oh, awkward with girls. Just putting it on. You're on putting stage. it on. It's like yeah. it's not who you are.